Ethernet IP is an open network Ethernet-based protocol. This means units that support Ethernet IP can be easily connected, since it is an open network. Many PLCs and sensors of Kians support Ethernet IP. For example, Kians vision sensors and barcode readers can easily communicate with our PLCs. Robots and PLCs of other manufacturers also can be connected easily if the corresponding units support Ethernet IP. As I said, Ethernet IP is Ethernet-based, meaning it can be connected to a network and communicate with Ethernet-capable units using a general-purpose LAN cable. So, units that are Ethernet-capable such as a touch panel or a PC can communicate in the same network even if the unit does not support Ethernet IP. Kian's PLCs, such as the KV8000A, support Ethernet IP. Because the built-in Ethernet port on the CPU supports this protocol, the KV8000A can independently communicate via Ethernet IP. The KVXL E02 is an expansion unit that also supports Ethernet IP. In addition, if you use our KV Nano series, the expansion unit KVNC1EP also supports Ethernet IP. Ethernet IP has two communication patterns. One is implicit messaging. Implicit messaging allows automatic data communication with a target unit in a constant interval. It does not require a program to send or receive the data. It automatically communicates the area, size, and communication interval of the data which is set in advance by the software. This communication interval is called RPI. With Ethernet IP, a different RPI can be set for each connecting unit. Therefore, you can set a short RPI for units which require high-speed communication such as I.O. signals. If speed is not critical, setting a long RPI is also possible. Another communication pattern is explicit messaging, where data communication takes place at an arbitrary timing specified by the user. The area, size of the data, and the communicating timing are controlled by a ladder program. Some data cannot be communicated using implicit messages. However, explicit messages can be used for communicating this data. To know what data can be exchanged for each communication pattern, check the manual of the corresponding unit. Next, I will briefly explain the procedure to configure Ethernet IP settings. Keyance units have all the information necessary for communication pre-registered in KV Studio. Therefore, communication is available just by selecting a unit to use. This is the settings screen for Ethernet IP. As you can see, Keyance Ethernet IP units are displayed in the list. Dragging and dropping units from this list adds the device. Even adding units from other manufacturers is possible by selecting it if the EDS file is registered. An EDS file contains the settings and information necessary for Ethernet IP communication. When the EDS file is registered, the file is displayed in this list with the key and units. Now, communication becomes available just by dragging and dropping. EDS files are available from the unit manufacturer's website. Even if an EDS file does not exist or is not available, Ethernet IP communication is still possible. Refer to the manual and set the necessary information.